Okay, five and six. So we've done one through four and we did one through four at 11.30, right? We didn't change our position. Well, we're gonna change it just a little and we're gonna move down to about nine o'clock and we're gonna turn our mannequin away from us now. We're gonna continue using the 1112 Explorer. Our palm is gonna be <clears throat> positioned parallel to the arch and we need to determine the correct end. So with my fulcrum right here planted on the occlusal of one of the maxillary teeth, I'm gonna place my toe on a tooth and I'm gonna look for the lower third of the shank, which is right here. Right, is that parallel? I can put it in any three places on that tooth. No. Okay, how about now? So I can put it in any three places and it's still parallel with the long axis. Okay, so that's the right end. Now, look at my fulcrum and my grasp. Now I'm in here. Okay. I'm going to stretch my fulcrum up. I'm going to plant it on number three. The back of my hand may rub on these mandibular teeth and that's okay. Don't try to get away from them because if you try to get away from them your palm does this and you want your palm parallel to the arch. We're going to lengthen the instrument in our fingers I'm gonna use my mirror to retract the cheek and I'm gonna roll over and that places my toe at the distal line angle. Toe is gonna to be positioned apically. And shoulders down, elbows in. See how I'm rolled over? Okay. Then I'm gonna stop, pull my instrument out, adjust my grasp. Again, roll over, place it at the distal line angle, toe paint, pointed apically. And now, as I get to that mesial line angle, I'm kind of twisting my hand more parallel to the arch. Did you see that? Okay, so watch again. Roll over. So I'm rolling over my fulcrum. Light grasp, light strokes, overlapping strokes. Do you see how my hand kind of twisted back up? fulcrum is right on the very tip of my fulcrum finger, right there. So as I'm moving more anteriorly, so is my fulcrum. So it stays ahead of my instrument. Okay. Your hand's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt right here. You should not use these movements. Okay. For area six now, I'm gonna place my mirror in here and I'm gonna use it for both direct and indirect vision. I can use my eyes for direct vision, my mirror for indirect vision to help spotlight the area. Okay, and also to kind of hold the tongue back because the patient will stick their tongue up there. All right. Now, I'm gonna cup the um, mandible. I'm gonna stretch my fulcrum up and put my fingers back together. I know I have the right end because the same end that was used in five is going to be used in six, right? Because it's the mirror image. And now I'm going to stretch my, or uh, not stretch, but 
extend my instrument back to the distal and as I come around the mesial I'm going to push look at my handle I'm going to push my handle back with my index finger and it can go back past this knuckle it's the only time that's okay all right because that helps you get more parallel on the uh, mesial and something else that is okay that's not okay everywhere else is finger motion you see my fingers pulling the instrument we all like that but that's the only place it's okay so my fulcrum is stretched up pretty much on the occlusal table I'm using finger motion and I can push my handle back more toward that third knuckle and my handle and shank are on the lingual and my shank stays on the lingual as I work my way around the tooth. Okay. Did you, were you able to see? Mm -hmm. okay. So, all I did was move from here to here. I didn't really move much of myself at all. Okay. And in six, the, what was different was I'm cupping the mandible, stretching my fulcrum up, because gravity is going to want to pull me off. So you have to keep it stretched up because you always have to have a fulcrum. And I can push my handle down or back, and I can pull with my fingers. Okay? But you can't do that everywhere else, so don't get used to it. Okay? Because you're going to like it. <laughs> um, your hand is going to hurt all right in here because you're not you're not used to this. So when it does, just stop, shake it out, you know, work it out, go on to something else, and then come back to it. Don't get all cramped up. 